My name is Jamie, and this is the vlog for August 15th. It's like 1020, 1015. Um, I'm going to do this, email my husband, get to bed. Yesterday, I had a late night cleaning spree, just cleaned my entire bedroom, um, dusted, um, didn't vacuum because it was late night and I didn't want to wake up the kid, um, but cleaned, changed sheets, made the efforts because I deserve the efforts and um, I deserve a clean room. And with all the dust coming in from dead yards because it hasn't rained in a long time and all the grass is dead in the neighborhood pretty much um, and the dust the dogs bring in and stuff like that. It was just, ugh, it was gross. So got sick of it, cleaned it all up, cleaned my bathroom. House is getting clean, starting from my, the master bath out, I guess, apparently. Um, so that's done. That's cool. I like my bedroom. So there's that. Um, two big things coming up this week. Kato's birthday is coming up Wednesday. Same day, she's going to kindergarten. Uh, day camp, whatever, for the day. So it's cool because it'll give me time to set up the yard. It sucks because I've invited her friends over, uh, just small groups, and it's it been unilaterally no, not because they don't love us, because the Delta variant has everybody scared to death. So no unnecessary hangouts really happening right now, which means I'm going to be on, uh, which is fine. Don't get me wrong. My kid is super cool to hang out with. It's heartbreaking because she wants to have friends over and then she adapts to, okay, it'll be an outdoor party. And now she's going to adapt to, it's going to be an outdoor party with mom, which when you're luckily six is still fairly cool. But I'm really hoping like a friend stops by while she's here and she can at least like say hi and thank you and maybe get a little bit of play in. I don't know. I did buy some party games um, that two players can play um, so we can do those and stuff like that and hopefully her slip and slide will get here on time um if it's a day late it's day late is what it is so there's that too it's kind of where we're at um she does have gifts from loved ones that we've saved and set aside um but it's just stuff she misses the people and i don't have an answer for that so it is what it is um I am going through her kindergarten school shopping list. And I remember when I was a kid, going school shopping was super fun and super exciting. Welcome to COVID. It's all happening online this year. <sighs> anyway, yeah, I'm a little sad about that, but it's okay. I mean, it's safe. So I'd rather have her be safe than have the experience of going into a store and picking out her own glue stick. <laughs> so there's that. Um, so, yeah. Um, it's weird. I never thought I would be looking at, okay, now I need, let's see, she goes to school five days a week, 10 masks for those five days, assuming she's going to change it once. And then there's weekends. So we should have a couple more hanging out just in case, or my don't get to the laundry right away. So we need 14 new masks and it's just... It wasn't something I ever thought would be on a kindergartner's school supply list. Um, I'm very grateful that she's going to go to a very small school who can take all the precautions very seriously. Um, sucks. It just sucks. It sucks because we're at the age where she realizes she's missing out on something. Um, yeah. A couple of years ago, it was much easier. <laughs> but we were at that place where she knows she's missing out on something. So, And I miss it too, by the way. I miss being able to go chat with like other humans in person that I didn't, that weren't paying me to be there for the hour. You know, <laughs> so um, it's, uh, I don't know. It's lonely. It's okay to be lonely and it's okay to be sad about it and it's okay to say it sucks because nothing lasts forever. The good, the bad, it's all temporary. So it'll get better. I was uh, planning a uh, epic trip to Disney World in the few minutes of downtime I had today and I kind of priced it all out and like shopped around and picked some dates. One of my husband's going to have like a month of leave. I'm like, okay, 
let's do an awesome 10 day like Disney World trip all out. Planned it out, priced it out. It's a little, little pie in the sky dreaming. Fair enough. Um, but the other part of me is like, even if I found one that's completely affordable and I scheduled it all out and put a deposit down, there's a very good chance that the Navy will say no because Florida is a hot spot. Most places where you would want to go to vacation are hot spots for COVID. So last year, the Navy said no. And the Navy has since changed its policy on use it or lose it leave that allows you to carry it over, carry it over like two extra years worth of dates for until like 2024, I think, something like that. Um, which basically means that you used to get like, let's say you had like six weeks of leave, but four weeks of that you had to use up before an expiration date. Um, now they're saying we're going to push that expiration date out a couple of years, which makes me a little bit nervous that they're going to start canceling leave. Um, or they want to have the leeway to cancel leave without having to pay these guys out or uh, deal with the morale issues that come from losing leave. Um, this is just tea leaves, you know, <laughs> this is not, I don't have any inside information on it, but, um, and it's not classified. So public, public knowledge, just if you're not in the circle, you're probably not thinking about it. Um, and, um, I don't know. Reacclimating is going to be challenging when he gets home. I really hope he has significant time off. Um, so he can, uh, come back to the world and figure this out. Um, because I know long deployments like this are hard. Uh, and I say that, and everyone says that, oh, deployments are hard, but there's certainly a different hard um, from when you have home dates and you're coming home and you're looking forward to it to hard when you have no communication, no home date, and, uh, you know, they're living in a... Um, day-to-day -day scenario that's akin to a space station. There's no help because the whole point is to be part of the world's greatest hide-and-seek game. So, it's scary. And I think sometimes the weight of that um, gets to me. So I think I need to make sure tomorrow I go work out and physically relieve some stress. That's what I got. So tonight, I'm going to go finish my tea, curl up in my clean sheets, and uh, enjoy a good night's sleep. <sighs> Tomorrow's another day. Tomorrow will be better.